Hello my soccer universe for the review of what happened in the Premier League this weekend. Um, just a little bit ahead, I mean, although I watched more or less two games, there is really not that much that I can say. I will hit a few uh, big points there. I'm wearing West Ham, probably the most impressive result and you know also the title of the video. I really want to avoid beating down and looking for the negative stories with uh, Manchester United. Uh, so I will really mention only the bare minimum. I think we need, we gotta rather celebrate. I want to look at the pole positive and I think what West Ham United is doing is rather impressive and you know, for me they might be, def uh, they are definitely a candidate as the new Leicester. Uh, in a way now that Leicester is a little bit far, far, far falling away but rather rather impressive at the moment um, can they challenge for Champions League spot I mean they already finished sixth last season which was pretty amazing this season they might do one up let's see how it will pan out but I'm really really impressed with what they are they're doing the work that David Moyes is doing completely rehabilitating himself did a great job at Everton then a few uh, not so good adventures and now uh, doing an excellent job at West Ham and I remember when he was appointed everyone including myself was kind of what why is he going back there you just said Pellegrini doesn't make much sense in any case we also had a few firings and that's where we actually start Southampton beating Aston Villa meaning Dean Smith is out and far fun enough Ralph Hasenhüttl is one of the candidates as is Steven Gerrard so yeah Let's see, um, to me, and I heard it yesterday, I think on the total, uh, the Totally Football Show, it was a little bit surprising yesterday, the results by Villa were not so good, but he's one of the few managers who leave a club in a better state than he found the club, and therefore it seems a little bit unfair, to be honest. Manchester Derby, I talked, you know, in the previous video, it was all Milan Derby, that was a proper derby. This Manchester derby was not a derby. This was a beatdown of the highest order, where only the scoreline is kind of hiding uh, how inferior United were. Uh, I just want to say stats: United had more shots on their own goal than they had on the other goal. Um, and for me, it was absolutely. I mean, the second half, uh, City were cruising. There was nothing coming. I think there was one chance from Ronaldo in the first half, and that was that. It was a really, really bad showing. Uh, in some ways this was worse than what Liverpool did to United and I wanna I literally leave it there I don't want to say anything I think everything has been said uh, I want to leave it there uh, no one last thing I saw I need to say one thing um, I saw then on Twitter suddenly Eric Ten Hag was trending and everyone was saying yeah Ralf Rannig is an interim and then you take Eric Ten Hag hey Knowing that Ralf Rannick wanted to take over at Milan, he wanted to have full control. Which may not be a bad thing, but he will not be an interim. And while, um, you know, the duo Van der Sar and Eric Ten Hag uh, is very appealing, especially with Van der Sar being another United legend, so that could work. A, I think what they have built at Ajax is very comfy, very cozy, very profitable, and Ajax... Ajax coaches don't transfer well into the Premier League and they need to have full control and they need to have time to rebuild something. But what they're building with Ajax is something completely different than what United needs. Don't look at Ten Hag as a coach that has a certain system that will suddenly work. I don't think it will. I think uh, what they're doing is uniquely working at Ajax. And uh, wait for my last video. Uh, <laughs> At the moment, Ajax is also not that working all that well to come. I would be careful what you wish for in, in, in a way. I do not know what manager would work well at United at the moment, especially of the ones that are available. It's not Zidane, it's not Ten Hag. Ralf Rangnick, if you completely buy into his style and his uh, very weird personality, that may be something. But then you also need, need to say goodbye to Ronaldo. Just saying. That's what I wanted to have said. Um, Norwich get the first win of the season. They're leading 2 0 at halftime. Uh, Fakke, coach, very excited. And Norwich, even up there among the big winners of this week, really excited. Yeah, this will give us the boost, and now we can get it. Oh, yeah, you're sacked. Out of here. That, 
I mean, not saying that he shouldn't have been sacked. It was kind of inevitable, but you just got to win. I know it's not the international break. Now is the time to chop some wood. I guess this was happening, but not within an hour after he said that, don't fire him. Say it on the next day. Call, call, call me, blah, blah, blah. Gone, gone you are. That was pretty brutal, I have to say. Chelsea, I, I didn't see much from Wada here. Burnley had one chance and converted. They had numerous chances, should have won the game one of those games they didn't win. Crystal Palace, big win uh, over Wolves. Crystal Palace rising. Uh, I, we said it last week when they beat City. They are definitely a team to watch out for. That is a little bit so surprising how well things are clicking. I also, I have not mentioned much of them this season, but I want to shout out to Arsenal. I think the Arteta system is kind of gelling. I want to see you play now against better teams that you're not outclassed, but maybe there's something growing at Arsenal. Maybe Arsenal will have a St. Tottenham stay this season. We have to see, because Antonio Conte came, came in, and while his first game against Vitesse was kind of so-and-so, this game, yeah, it showed how bad of a task he has ahead. Everton uh, and Spurs nil-nil. I saw the last half hour. Was not pretty. Was not pretty from either side to 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 us. From what I hear, is Everton even would have probably deserved the, the win. Uh, less than Leeds one one, and then yeah, United Liverpool, uh, West Ham United Liverpool, not United Liverpool, West Ham United Liverpool. Um, let's put the, the positive first. You know, West Ham totally deserved that win on basis how what they did in the second half and that Liverpool didn't show up. The other thing is, this was probably the oldest jersey matchup. Each kit by themselves actually looks actually quite nice, but together this was jarring to watch. I mean, this, this red tone with the cream color of Liverpool with the black pants didn't look good. Really didn't look good. <laughs> this was one of the worst jersey matchups I've seen this season. Um, so yeah, I think West Ham really deserved the win. However, they did get some help because um, the Allison own goal when was it recorded as an Okbona Kelly interferes with him. I can see maybe in England. Yeah, you want to give, but um, yeah. But more importantly, uh, there needs to be a red card a few minutes later. That was a really really foul. Uh, challenge did not happen uh, I thought that Liverpool turns around when uh, Alexander Arnold uh, scores this wonderful free kick I have to say the first half was not a good game in many ways but it had uh, the, the, the free kick made up for any for every, every everything uh there where i really thought that you know the wall it, it went because it was taking a little bit of art, it went around wall and then you have uh, what was little dawson there where it just went over uh who has no chance there really well taken free free kick but then second half uh was it bowen bowen not dawson bowen uh and i mentioned bowen because he assisted in the two goals uh the pass to fornals really great then allison Al Al Alison gets uh, tips it a little bit. I thought this is enough that it goes up, but then it, it goes into the net. Some blame him for it. I actually don't think you should be blamed. I mean, he gave, his, he gave an effort. If he doesn't touch it, I think this is even worse. So, yeah. And then, yeah, I think the Zuma goal uh, needs to be better defending by Liverpool. Origi, with a great shot, pulls one back. Uh, and then maybe Liverpool should have equalized through Sané. It did not happen. Uh, as I said, I think overall... Um, West Ham deserved that win because Liverpool was not there. They look tired, which is a little bit understandable because, you know, Champions League and, and so there are a lot of games happening, but it's also for West Ham. So, I don't know. The break will come, but, you know, most of them go then on international break uh, as well. I want to quickly see what's in uh, Leicester against Chelsea. This would have been a much better, be better game not too long ago. We have, of course, Liverpool, Arsenal and Manchester City against Everton. I think those are the games to look out for uh, in the next round. I think Liverpool, Arsenal, I'm really looking out for because I really want to see what Liverpool is doing. Um, I said two coaching fires. We had also coaching hire at Newcastle who got Eddie Howe, who was a sexy manager uh, like two years ago. I'm not so sure. We'll see. Uh, you know, I, I want to give him the benefit of the, of, of, of the doubt. 
Uh, but you know, new Newcastle, the new owners trying to find their footing. It will take them a while. I, it actually might be that Newcastle has to go down and then uh, complete the rebuild, blah, 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 blah. And in, two, in three years' time, uh, they might then be a fourth to be forced to be reckoned with. Uh, also, Conte against Bielsa. Sounds interesting. In any case, this was it from me from the Premier League. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Enjoyed this video. Add anything you want to add uh, in the comments below. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might actually enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell. So in order to get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe.